The challenge dataset consists of 49 electron microscopy images. The images show around 400 atoms and how they move over time. To analyze material properties, these atoms must be detected, classified, and tracked over time. For atom detection, we define a template atom. The template atom is compared with every part of the image, resulting in a similarity value per pixel. Starting with the point of highest similarity, we go through every pixel in order of decreasing similarity and mark them as atom centers as long as they are at least 14 pixels apart. Finally, we define a threshold that separates two atom centers from noise. Detected atoms are either molybdenum or selenium, which is slightly brighter. Free molybdenum and free selenium atoms together form a molecule. We classify atoms by detecting hexagonal molecules and use relative brightness within a molecule to determine which atoms are molybdenum and which are selenium. We detect hexagonal patterns throughout the image and sort them by uniformity. Starting with the most uniform hexagon, we add each hexagon as long as it conforms to two constraints. A new hexagon cannot intersect existing hexagons, and it cannot form triangles with existing hexagons. After all valid hexagons have been added, each molecule casts a vote about which of its atoms are brighter. The votes of all molecules are combined to classify the atoms. The movement of atoms can be tracked by computing which atoms of one frame correspond to which atoms in the following frame. Let's look at atom positions of two consecutive frames. Source atoms are shown in blue and target atoms are shown in red. Atoms that hardly move are the easiest to map, so we map them first. Other points are mapped to the nearest free target in order of mapping distance. When atoms move far between frames, mapping close points first can introduce errors. To detect this scenario, we measure target point density. Points within low target point density are now mapped first. After the initial mapping, we iteratively improve our solution by correcting points whose mapping seems out of place. The highlighted mapping does not fit in with surrounding mappings. We estimate a more reasonable mapping based on nearby mappings. At this point we have three options. Replace the mapping with the estimate, keep the mapping as it is, or remove it entirely. By formulating a cost function, we can quantify our options and make an informed decision. This animation shows the movement of atoms tracked through all 49 frames of the challenge dataset. 